Adding a 3D model of the enclosure will help to correctly place the components on the PCB, avoiding possible conflicts with the height of the components. Using the MCAD co-designer extension, you can transfer the case model of your device to the PCB designer directly from your MCAD system. In our case, the board was already pushed earlier and also it was pulled in the MCAD system. In addition, this PCB has already been placed in the assembly of the device. You can easily transfer the model of your enclosure from your MCAD system to the Altium designer by simply moving it into the PCB assembly. After moving the enclosure model, it is necessary to switch to the board assembly, which has been pulled with the MCAD co-designer extension. If it is necessary, rebuild the assembly to ensure that the enclosure model appears in the assembly. After making sure that the case is placed as you need, press the push button to transfer the data to the electrical engineer. However, it is not correct to keep the enclosure model in the assembly of the PCB. It is necessary to switch back to the whole device assembly and return the case model to its original state, excluding it from the PCB assembly. Meanwhile, in the MCAD co-designer panel in Altium Designer, the electrical engineer sees a notification about new changes. Let's preview the enclosure placement and accept the changes. The model is placed in the way it was pushed by a mechanical engineer, and now an electrical engineer can continue their work considering this model. Let's switch back to the MCAD system. It is reasonable that if the case model was removed from the PCB assembly, then when adding and synchronizing future changes, the MCAD co-designer extension from the electrical engineer side will quite rightly propose to remove this model from the PCB when accepting the further changes. One of the possible solutions in this situation is exactly the same moving of the enclosure model to the board assembly before each synchronization. However, you can do this in a quite different way. After making changes in the assembly of a device, switch to the PCB tab and push the data to the electrical engineer as usual. The electrical engineer, upon receiving notification of the changes, simply disables a single change due to the removal of the enclosure. All other changes will be synchronized correctly. In this situation, the electrical engineer can feel free to ignore the single change that proposes to remove the enclosure and continue working with their existing copy of the enclosure. Then, if the mechanical engineer makes any changes to the enclosure itself, or the relative position of the enclosure to the PCB assembly, they must remember to again move the enclosure into the PCB assembly and push it to the electrical engineer. If the case has been changed from the MCAD side, the mechanical engineer will need to transfer it in the same way, so that the topologist can take the actual model as a reference for their work.